What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Who's Coming Towards You for Sana Scorpio for December 2021. This could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Moon, or Jupiter. Definitely get the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general reading, just saying. So I already got some channeled in before I clicked the camera on. So let me let me share it. So I heard a Dean HR, an executive, um, um, oh, a gas station attendant, and a pregnant Leo tarot card reader. That's what I heard. So I'm assuming that's who's coming towards you. Holy crap, that's a lot of people. That's, well, that's a lot of those. In, well, a lot of, some of those are normal life, some are not. So depending on, everybody's life situation is different. So depending on your occupation, what you do in life, and et cetera. So a dean, uh, I think like a dean of a school, uh, probably a college, um, a dean, or it could be a college or a very, um, like a prestigious program, a dean. Um, that so at least for one of you guys, a dean is coming toward you. For some HR, human race resources. For some, an executive, so an executive type person, um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, I just want to say I feel these can all go negative or positive. A gas station attendant and a pregnant Leo tarot card reader. So that's at least five people in the universe coming towards you soon. So you plug it in, however that resonates, um, if that resonates for you. I feel it can go very positively or very negatively. And for one, a federal agent. And for one, an investigator. Oh my God, okay. Whoa. And for one, a federal agent. And for one, an investigator. So that's at least you, for some, one could resonate with you, some two plus, some none. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And for one, a federal, um, for one, a federal investigator and for one, a, no, for one, a federal agent, federal agent. So that could be marshals, CIA or FBI. And for one, a um, investigator, investigator. So I don't know if that's like police investigator or private eye. You plug it in, how it resonates. Eight of Swords upright, Queen of Wands upright. And for some, a very private communication from a Libra feminine. And for some, a very private communication from a Libra femme. So, for some of you guys, a very private communication from a Libra feminine. They could have a Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine for Jupiter. But that's very private communication. And that was very specific. So, Eight of Swords upright, Queen of Wands upright. Communication coming from a very important person, a particular person got wrong, got money they were not supposed to get. Some regarding the Secret 7 situation, some not. You know information on this. You are about to reveal it. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates. Wow, I heard Secret 7 in here. I haven't heard Secret 7 in a hot minute, but I did. Damn. Okay, so if this resonates with you, one of these um, people coming towards you in the universe, hers a very important uh, person. So I think it could be the federal agent energy or the um, investigator type energy, however that resonates. Um, but it you plug it in how it resonates, but it's a very important person, regardless of whether it's a federal agent or investigator type energy. Um, they're coming toward you. It sounds like because, uh, you know, information on a person that I heard got, um, a lot of money 
off of uh, regarding the secret seven situation that they should not have gotten. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So I think it's giving you stress, anxiety, worry, fear, because this person got lots of money off the secret, secret seven situation that they should not have gotten. So I think it's a feminine energy that got um, this money out of the secret seven situation and they shouldn't have got it. I think it's a very sexy individual. They um, uh, probably self-care themselves and use this money to self-care themselves. They might have gotten plastic surgeries or want to get plastic surgeries or they just really obsessed with their body because they're pulling up as a queen of lines upright. Um, just saying, just saying. Or they're just very confident and sexy looking. Um, however that resonates. But regardless of that, they got the money they wasn't supposed to. They got money they weren't supposed to get, basically. Um, but you know about it. It's giving you uh, mental health issues, basically. You're about to divulge it all. Release your mental health issues. Okay, I heard you're about to divulge it all. Release your mental health issues. So you're about to release the information that you know. You know somebody got um, a very, very large amount of money off the Secret 7 situation. Um, they weren't supposed to get. And I strongly feel it's a femme energy or a masculine takes on heavy femme. But you're having mental health issues because you do know this information. But I heard you're about to you're about to divulge it all. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Namaste.